Yo, how's it going everyone? So last night, bro, oh, it was just epic. Too epic. This game, redefining gaming as a whole right now, man. Redefining what gaming, what games should really look like, play like, and just feel like, you know? Story's on point, combat is on point, the epic scales, like, oh my gosh. This is a Final Fantasy game. Never have I ever imagined a Final Fantasy game to play like this or be like this, Arthur, ever, ever. How far is the realm? The realm? Insane. Oh, she's just fine. Who Absolutely. The fat storms but yeah, we're gonna continue, man. Skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav, she's <laughs> with your uncle in the free cities, helping Mid with her project. Send an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. Wow. It's gotten to the point, huh? Maybe hey, Vivian. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, Sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Hmm. Please tell me of your tales. Please, Indiana. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning a Kashik in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Ulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand to be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. 
But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. That's right. None but us, because I'm going to whoop ass. King Barnabas. Matter of fact, ex King Barnabas. There's only going to be one king, and that's going to be King Sid. For my brother. Your will so shall be accomplished. Hi, yeah. Hi, baby. You guys can see a little bean head in the back, can't you? <laughs> Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Norseman? <laughs> doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cash at her gates and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. The curse breakers are Oh my god, chaos is just wrecking havoc right now. <laughs> and even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Clive! Here you go. First we find Isabel. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. Saw it with my own eyes. Hold on. I can't do it. I can't. My lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. 
like a cashic, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. This is why I but different. <sighs> Ultimate thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Let's go, Clive. Let's put an end to this. Ultima himself. Not really. Are we even capable of fighting Ultima? Like, is that... Is that something we can do? Soldiers not carrying. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here. It's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Pussy! <coughs> <coughs> Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's... I need a drink. Over a drink eh? I'm listening. <sighs> Sorry, my throat was just a bit itchy. Oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. <sighs> I'd like you to consider my needs. Hey, can you see my girl right there? What we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. <gasps> Ultima's plan is to literally sever every connection possible to Clive with his humanity so he can just be lost in darkness and then become Muthos. They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. It's all right. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family in war. I heard the flood was spreading, so... I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing... things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. I'm sorry, darling. I truly am. It's literally a mile and a half away, dude. It's freaking far. Chocobo, I need you. It was all they could do to escape. Just 
supply, Ambrosia. Aero Dragon Desica. Oh, you can break? Rain in. What does that do? Oh, not this guy. Not this guy. Here's a present. You think you're sick? There are more. There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. 
Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, milady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts, for now at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. It's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed to convince him. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. to do. All right, boys, be right back. I am back, friends. We shall visit Dalmekin Republic and find out what actually is going on there. Here comes my baby. Time to mute myself. Sid, your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? This guy, man. You haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. 
Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... ...he'd let them choose for themselves... ...and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. A recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But... ...perhaps that realization... ...would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal... ...it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be... ...to pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other... ...when all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits? It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm... ...your faces are not well known in this town. ...that may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. Victory, Conrad. Here she is. The Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad. May I introduce you to Jane? Commander of the Red Wings. The oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The... ...pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra... ...to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. ...that there aren't any men left to hire, is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the Seven High Houses? 
There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad? Are you saying that Dalham's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. That's the spirit. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. If I had my pickaxe, I would. I mean, it may still be possible to buy some. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord. And how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Come on, team, we can solve this. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. No, I didn't say it was good, merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. It appears I have no choice but to <laughs> I do don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Let's go speak Mommy. with Victor. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to... Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Mm -hmm. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Mistakes I concede are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, 
Nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean... I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Let's go. Yes. What? Hi, JD. Oh my god, it's big. The thing is, the reason why I can't change dreams is because I've trained with Nico. When you have the baby. I'm training with you. Since when? Since you're training you with Alina. Me. You're training no, with Alina, big man. Me I haven't promised nothing. Yes, you did. No, nah, I did. Of course I did. But you're coming to my gym. Look at them. Y'all think you're ready for the smoke you're about to get? Go on. Wait, hold on. Oh, get off me, man. Did you see him trying to combo somewhere? Oh, yeah, you're my next condit. Ah, I need to let go. Yes, drop. Ah. You screwed. Oh yeah, he's done. No! Why well, give him protection just before I freaking finish them? It's your fault, wasn't it? Now! I'm down. Done it. Sit down. 
They need to fix the FPS drops in certain regions. That's all. That's literally all. Because everything else is just perfect. The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. They're gone. They got slapped. That's for sure. Oh. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. Indeed. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Indeed, my man Sid. Indeed. Ooh. Wait, what? Let's go. We got a lot more skills. I'm thinking what skill I should probably put on Ramu. I feel like I should have instead of this one. I like it, but it just has such a a wind a long wind up like to unleash it. Ooh, I might just use this, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. That's that's it. Got it, man. I got it. I could use Bahamut or anything like that, but I don't know. I wasn't really feeling Bahamut skills. They're a bit, they're a bit slow. Like I got combos with it, but it's not as nice as I thought it would be. It's just like projectiles, and I like moves where there's like. Combos, you know? I like combos. <laughs> Just give me combos, bro. But Bahamut only has like projectiles and I don't know. Titan. I love Titan. I'm gonna go back to Titan eventually, but I'm just showing off Ramu right now because I didn't really get the chance to do it when we got him. Martha, it's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the My hill. shoulder hurts, boys. Only I'm sorry. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. 
Do you think there were as many as Martha says? Clive, wounded. Brother, deal what? with the Akashic first. Ah, too slow. And then the next time I do it, that'll be. Oh my god, they're poisoning me. to shoot. And you will. I wish there was like four icons that could use at the time. I feel like I'm missing out on skills. If you like I can swap this place through five if I need to. Give me them. You are mistaken, Give me all of them. My Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Ah. Uh, but how did you get here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. I see. We gotta go find Wade before he gets killed. Ah. Dang it. Or not. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their hand. They got wounded with them! They're Damn it all! Yeah. We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Be safe? We got a battle. Be safe? What are you talking about? I'm gonna fight. Alright, listen. What are you, what you got for me? Elixir, I just, I will never buy that. Never. 
Perhaps I could sell some of these sword and I just keep like the really weak one. Imperial Infantry Blade. Well. That's good for like when I want to practice combos. Mad dogs. I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir... Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? You. Oh no. Damn it. We need to get the injured to safety. Freaking Ultima off? injured. I mean uh certainly try. Taking over everything. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. No, GBG. No, first. Okay, let's take care of this big guy. That was great. Great fail. Get down, stupid turtle. Yep. Oh, this. That. 31k, that's not bad. Can't touch with that, bro. Oh! Oh, somebody hit me before I got. Trying to unleash my move. anyone hurt I don't think so and yet again you've pulled me from the flames it's just a pity I keep walking into them <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger so wait like any shield worthy of the name I see you're all in one piece Martha is something wrong the lookout saw smoke coming from down East Poolway too thick to be a hearth a second horde 
Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. All right, be quick with them. Put an end to this mask. How far is it? Okay, we're gonna need to teleport. Is that I just saw something man there. Better already. Oh great. They're headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Marker and the others won't be ready. Well Rambo is freaking nuts. You club me. Something's coming. Oh no. Oh no. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? Ramu is freaking nuts. Ramu is nuts. 
Oh my gosh, the stun damage on this freaking icon, dude. This... <sighs> Filthy anymore. No, I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. <sighs> what did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. Yep. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well... When you put it like that, of course they can stay. Give me skill points. What are you doing? My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. No way. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. Oh, man. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir so Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would oh. love the duties of a shield from the finest. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. But I am a shield no longer, nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy shield. N n not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. <laughs> there is only so much the boy Bless can him. learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once, and I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. Bro, things and roles have changed, dude. It's crazy. Clive, just say yeah, man. Come on. Know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. Exactly. I would not have it any other way. Nice to meet you, kid. Under control. Wait, least. Oscar. Let's go. Till next time. That is so far. Why is it so far? Like, bro, I'm all the way here. Mind over it. Nah, I'm out. I'll do that in my own time. Don't know why they don't have, like, travel points just there on that side of the area. The map. Did you see that? Wondering when you turn up, 
Hello, small our friends, thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, so that smoke that stuff, bomb, smoke. The clouds that Ultima summoned now, is affecting the entire world, dude. Guess yourself. The actual game now scenery time, changed. That's mad. The infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. Bloody Ultima. Joshua. Oh my god, the priest is here with us? It's not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua. What do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. You, you, Clive. Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. Sorry, inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him. Before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. <laughs> you should sacrifice yourself to save me. 
I love Joshua. I love Joshua so much, man. Ah, no. Clive, it's Gav. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Bro, Josh reminds me of like Sora and Roxas from Kingdom Hearts. His character design looks so clean, so sick. My favorite character in this goddamn game. He looks so good, man. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, what? bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. I'll look after him. I am his big brother after all. Come on, let's go, man. Come on. I love you, kid. Was with me in the Dominion before I primed. She would have watched the battle unfold and witnessed its outcome. I trust you'll be waiting for me in Tabor. Nah, this game is lit. <laughs> this game is lit. Oh my days! Just the fucking chemistry between the two brothers is enough for me to be like, you know what? Fuck every game, bro. This is it. This is the game. This is the pinnacle of gaming right here. This is beautifully written. Beautiful. Mmm. There's some type of finesse, bro, to this shit. Ah. Oh. I love it, man. The bromance is just beautiful, dude. It's like the Tate brothers in a level, you know? Less toxic and less all of that. Actually, it's not even that it's toxic. It's just pure and genuine, you know what I mean? They both do that. Like, this game just shows that perfectly. Ah, reunited at last. Look at that. No way. After so many years. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. To me free Oh hell, these not these robots again. Assuming they would allow it. Oh my god. The echoes have a will of their own. Oh. Give me strength.
Ah, oh, you scum. See my skills. What more can I learn? By nine seconds. <whistles> tempting. Very tempting. This is lightning bolt, right? Judgment bolt, even. I might master this. What else? I might master that. Yeah, I might master this next. What is this? Am I using? Yeah, I'm using it. Yeah, we good, we good, we good. We don't track. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. <laughs> <laughs> Roasting your big brother, are we? You watch it, kid. Because uh, I can get nice and fluid with the combos, man. I'll be unstoppable. Air juggles all day. Day, sir. Got a quest on the way, might as well just pick it up. Is that Igor? What's his name? Igor? Was it Igor? You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Nah, it's not him. So no one cares. Sad character. Don't guess. Don't guess. Sorry, I said it. No one cares. No one cares. No one truly cares. Oh wait. Oh no, he close. died. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Sorry. I didn't know it was grave. I know you were bleeding. I'm just chatting, poop. Don't worry about me, man. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. No one. I thought I had to fight something here. Yeah, you're gonna regret that. That was a beautiful combo, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. God damn, boys. God damn. Someone there! Please, I, I can't. 
can't move my leg. That Where are you at? Like an Yes, he was with the battalion, but it's over. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Chilling now, my boy. You seem familiar. You must have me. Wait. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kuka shall be avenged! Fine. If you insist. I need someone to practice my combos on. Tyson! No, I'm not gonna be my punching bag. You're in no fit state to fight. And it should be easy for you. Come for what? The sins of your master. You and I have no quarrel. Indeed. No. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. Just know that I will. Whatever, Sasuke. <laughs> Whatever, Sasuke. You do what you gotta do, man. I'll be waiting. Your broken ass legs. Man can barely stand it. He's talking shit. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine being crippled and talking shit to a man who could end you in two seconds. Come on, man. Not even two seconds is a bit too long, bro. Like one strike. Oh, hello, sons. Places I haven't. Where now, John? <sighs> there is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. I'm starving. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. 
Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rights of ancestral communion. You can rise up now, man. What the hell? She's in one knee, bro. Her thighs must be burning. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. She's that strong? Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. Nah, stop talking like that about you, bro, man. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. How do these people still have a table to sit on? Like, bro. Oh. Okay, in Canva. Be truly safe here in the Agora. The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce! <laughs> Forgive us, we were not Typical. aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity! How dare you! Distinguished oh. members of the council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. Is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! Enough. Oh my god. One slice. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. 
Wait, who is he looking for? A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Huh? Oh, girl. Yes, your majesty. He's not talking about Jill, is he? Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. He reminds me like of Johnny Depp, like the way he walks and talks and maybe not the talking. More of like his swagger. <laughs> Exaggerated swagger. <laughs> you know what I mean? So or is then, he looking for Yote? How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions. I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Oh no. I need food. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. God? That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. <laughs> And Clive. Gods don't like to be disobeyed. <laughs> no, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omielos Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Bro. Oh my days, the story of this game is so perfect. Farewell, my lord. My lady. We are in your death. Just how okay. every character interacts with each other and like, it's just... There's some gruesome moments, there's some despicable moments even. Some absolutely adorable type of shit going on right now. And I'm just like, oh, this is what we need, man. The, the world lead, needs love, bro. This game, it's man. Love, friends. You just can relate, dude. It's, it's hard to see something like this, man. Video games could change the world, man. When written right, this is it. And we'll be right back, because your boy needs some food. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, currently outside, we have a, a guy trimming the grass, and he decides right now is the best day to come and 
trim the grass when I'm goddamn recording my video. So I'm gonna have to be muted. I'm sorry. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her? Is that blade for hire, perchance? All right. I was saying that I might as well pick this quest up because we might be on the way, you know? Finally. Altair. Cyril. How fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and Bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix, and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. You're not creepy at all, friend. You're not creepy at all, you're just a normal guy. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further, no, you are dismissed. Your grace. To Canva, then. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Clive is stupefied right now. You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. The free cities are deceived. I thought it would be on the way, not out of the way. You understand? I'll do that in my own time.
Go, Togo! Togo, kill! Petrol ready. This one. Attack! All yours, Togo! Joshua, I was clearly giving Togo the fight of the dog, you know? Come on. Free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. It stopped. I think they finished. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I need to stop looking to my left. There's nothing there. Just my beautiful face, obviously. But you guys are here. Here. The warehouse district. Sounds like thunder. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Uncle? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. Uh, that's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. 
They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Bro, why are they so noisy out there? The ball, 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 so much noise, bro. Right, Disrespect. Kind of, kind of recording peace, man. It's a beautiful city. They don't stand a chance against those things. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think they're dead. Come on, Dan. I think I'm gonna give you mercy. Die. You kill for fun, huh? Oh no. Now oh, that I missed that. Oh no. That's different. Sit down.
Oh, I should have saved it. I should have saved my ult. Okay, I see who has to die first. Oh no, I need to go up in the air. Protect him now. With it, getting nice with it, boys. Getting real nice. Wake 
Big boy. That sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. Oh my god, he's dealing damage.
caused quite the commotion but then I would expect no less from you Muthos you again I don't believe we've been introduced you were in my family's crypt and now you're here with an army of Akashic thralls manners Lord Rossfield they are men like you and me Albeit one's uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. Who the hell is he? I am the Lightning of House Harvard. And you will yield. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Okay. Oh my goodness, wrong power, dude. to the counter that
use Titan for this guy. Forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Tungir. Watch closely, Mythos. Bro. Bro, what? Yes! Yes! <laughs> I try to parry that. Don't know why. I don't know why I try to. Oh! Oh, God! That fast, bro.
Oh god. Full power, Ram. Come on. Full power, full power. an end. Your life. <sighs> when did I get four thousand? When did you so crafting? What? The vessel is strong. I thought he was a dominant. Is he not? Clive! You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Oh, Lord. Founder. King Barnabas. Leaving so soon, Mythos. Leaving so soon, sound like Bar um, the king. What's his name? Balder. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharn, Warden of Ash, and King of Walu. Get back. I kneel before no one. Is 
he that confident? No, I'm gonna use his own weapon. <laughs> He's bullying me. my lord commander yet i see why my master covets you so the power within you mythos the potential oh my god stop calling me mythos but mythos is everything the cornerstone of all creation the lord's vessel your purpose Purpose to surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, Your Majesty, my purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people, and nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Ain't no way. He just slapped me up. Odin that powerful? Tell me you're the final boss without telling me you're the final boss. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. Bro, the disbelief in my... Will you be alright? The phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. <laughs> Why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. 
But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew. <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Reviewers are on crack. The trouble like that. <laughs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing neck. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. <laughs> I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake, my boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. And the Where's world Joe? can save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? <sighs> well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings, if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe the mistreatment King Barnabas just put me through, dude. Oh my god. He wasn't even trying. Bro, he wasn't even trying. One hand. Gav said that Otto might know something. I need to go. Yeah, I need to craft. <laughs> I need to craft. I need to craft, boys. Clive. Going purse weighing you down. It'd better I'll be here. It's better, so might as well, bro. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better I'll be here. There's the mistreatment I just went through. Don't ever want to go through that again. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Finished, are you? Gosh, damn. So what do I owe the honor? You're gonna Fire forge me, me the strongest blade possible. It lasts you a good while. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Reinforce. Not my best work, but it'll do. You can thank me later. Who 
Where whiskers? Ah, I don't got one. Yeah, that should do you. Anything else? If it's knowledge you seek, we've done. He was not even trying. Cole said it was an army of a cash. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with a cash in the balance of one? How oh, indeed. My men and I lost an in God. If you're here. Where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Oh my god, I am in disbelief. I thought Clive was strong, dude. Now I see what's strong. Oh my lord. He's fighting Jill in sh human form. Not even trying. If I'm in disbelief. Lazarus, do you think this ship will have a sign? I think Shiva in his human form. Like, bro. Unless he's been drinking ether like the last 25 years or something. Is bro, this looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Mitchell already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Uh, I know this is your high. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. Mm. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? I know you like your videos, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best, and so on I hear. And so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps three in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. Sid. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. How far is that? What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. <laughs> Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? 
He surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Ah, oh, here's a trick. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this trick. Look at this trick. Ah. Saved me but a few moments. Hmm. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestron. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we pressed all the buttons. Like this. Kids, man. See? All too well. All right, out of the way. Let's go. Is he gonna punch it? Please don't do that live. This something cord on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it. You said fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Let's bring this over to mid. How many points I got, I'm definitely going to be getting my next, what do you call it, icon, because of how many points I have. That's a lot. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's the patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? What? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. I'll try my best. I can't promise anything. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Every moment 
tight waist here, the further the flagship sails. I have That's to right. get back. My girl, Jill, as quick as possible. Is that from? Oh, it's goats. What am I gonna do? Oh, what am I gonna do? Eye for an eye. Oh, this is it. Okay, let's go. Hey man, I'm sorry man. I was starting to feel real drowsy, real tired. It's so hot in here and it's just crazy trying to record this consecutively every single day. With little amount of sleep because I just can't sleep. I want to play the game. Or my baby daughter wakes me up. And you know, father duties must be... They must be done, Like you know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure I wake up and look after my bait. You know what I'm saying? And only that, I also need to work. Do some videos in that. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, long story short, man. I'm sorry if I'm drowsing off. It happens. Oh, she actually made the ship. Looks sick. Pretty darn good. So I got myself a coffee, like a little mocha. Oh my god, guys, my baby passport picture. <laughs> All right, Clive. She looks mad as hell. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Inayar is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Captain Mid. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharn? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to Ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! All hands! All hands! Man your stations! Was the survival? Everyone with me? Take care of these fuckers. Behind you! 
That hurts. the captain <laughs> Clive What the f But I thought he was confounded then it is as I feared Sleipnir is no man but the creation of Odin His fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? <laughs> Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. Or was it my office? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! 
You leave! We follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, follow me! Way anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friends. Tis not blood that runs through in every space. These foes will not fall into it. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing oh, I no. brought one! Hey, 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 hold this, hold this, hold this. How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a gun. Just about made it, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. That's a great place to be fighting. Cinematics? Oh, cinematics. The Angeria. I get to play inside the boat? Fuck off. Wait. Oh, damn, Joe. What do you want? It's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged.
I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine? <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? <laughs> The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye. And they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ha! Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Randala can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. <laughs> Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. <laughs> when next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. So, so goofy. <laughs> Bloody uncles, man. Whose uncle is this guy, bro? <laughs> Clives. My nephews are gonna be bullying me, man. No, no. Oh, is that your uncle? No, <laughs> no, man. I don't want to get bullied by my little freaking well, poops. You can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. <laughs> Oh my god, Dion. Wait, he's just... He's in this condition like that? And he's just... With his spear? Oh... He, god, mercy. he came to see. Oh no. My lord. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Makes sense that when you're out in the ship, you can't go anywhere else. I mean, you're in the freaking middle of the ocean. Can't just be fast traveling back to the base and then back in the ocean. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Make sure you stay focused. That's a cool looking ship. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. What? Look alive, boys! Full ahead! And 
Keep those bodies as beds. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands, battle stations. Let's see what this girl can do. Oh my god, he's just waiting. Oh, he's got his armor ready. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Oh my god, then there is naught my blade cannot sever. Wait, he can fly? Since when? I thought his horse allowed him to fly. No way I'm gonna fight with Joshua. No way! <laughs> Hello? No! Give me Joshua! Start up. Get out of here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Good done.
Ah, oh, you scummy. Teleports, of course. There's a ladder somewhere. Oh boy. Hmm. that mage. Great. 
That's great. Because it's got down both. Out of here, I can. Stand still! Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Oh no, he's on his horse.
this guy's Moses. <laughs> Odin is Moses, bro. That ship is gone. Clive needs to jump out of there. Wait. Clive? Clive? They just fell. They just fell. So you're telling me the river just stays, well, the ocean just stays split like that the whole time? Your brother, hello, Clive? Can you go on? I think so. Where? Oh, Lord. What is he, Thanos? You. What did you do to Joshua? Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Never led astray by your blind resolve. Oh now, my goodness. It is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Oi. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. He just teleports. We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Did he just parry me, bro? Bro. short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. And as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you. For what? 
stopping the light. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. How dare you? You know not of this world. Oh God. Place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. Stop it. You will assume the mantle you've been given. Oh my god. And thus is the light of hope severed. I think that's meant to happen. Because I could not deplete that. You would yield so soon. Never. Clive! Jill, why are you still here? Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his. And yet, every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... He doesn't get the precaution. ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. Five does not get the side effects? We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. God! As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield? They are men, like you and me. Albeit one's uh, unburdened 
by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> Clive! The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will be. Come, until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> Don't look back! Clive bested. <laughs> what an achievement, mate. I keep getting whooped by this guy, mate. Oh my gosh. Odin is too much. I think I used to, I think I used to be in love with Odin back in freaking Final Fantasy XII. I think Lightning had him. And bruh, he used to be my favorite, man. I was like, oh my god, Lightning is so overpowered. And I see why she's so overpowered. Odin is bonkers. What the hell? I was literally in love with Odin, bro. <laughs> I used to summon him all of a sudden be like yeah <laughs> now you're screwed and they would have seen the ice red lead we need only wait till dawn wait what why are they butt ass naked <sighs> this is the second time Artabas has bested me I'm powerless against him and maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Where is Joshua? Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... To the man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though, think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved? It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? <laughs> You 
still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so low. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Wait, she's gonna give me her power? Shiva. Still my favorite summon no matter what. I mean, if free is too badass, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I might. I'm in between. But Shiva. Nah, Shiva's my favorite summon always. Freaking cold ass bitch, bro. She's too sick. I love you, Clive. I love you. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Stop it. Find a way to save each other. These guys, their love is too pure for my liking. I would have been snugging this woman from the day we were 12 year old. <laughs> I their love is too pure, man. It's almost like Romeo and Juliet, bro. Oh, God. And I promise you, Clive. That's how you know society is broken right now. That I will be there. Clive is definitely not a simp. No matter what you must become. I'm coming, baby. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. They're finally gonna kiss. Yay. Yay. Finally. 
It took about 40 hours. <laughs> I've been waiting for that kiss for about 12 freaking days, bro. Like, Clive, what took you so long, my guy? What are you waiting for? I think I just ripped my skin apart. Is he going back there? Is he gonna go and get Joshua? Torgo. Torgo was watching that the whole time. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Which is? Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. What's that light? Way. All right, guys. And we'll be right back because my daughter's awake. She's waiting for me. All right, we're back. This woman is awake, so if she needs me, I'm gonna have to go. But I'll just pause the video and let me mute myself. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale, but there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with Akashic. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Tesco's! Yikuzo Shiva Desuka. Oh, we got dash, bro. Can we do it mid air? Can we do it mid air, bro? Can we? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, yeah. Oh, you already know I'm gonna go and practice with that. Be right back. I thought I was doing a side quest, but they're giving me a whole cutscene on this. This is. I just went into a room to collect side quests, and then Joshua started speaking. I was like, what? what? Why am I getting this? Oh, good thing I started recording. What 
is this place? <gasps> Don't move. It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. He's gonna join us. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Dyer. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you coming! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your laws men. 
I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Do. Yo, how's it going boys? So, it's like 3am. I haven't been practicing all day because I had stuff to do, but I practiced a little bit with the, with the newfound power, you know. So, I got a few comments here and there. Might be able to pull it off. Uh, just a matter of trying. Seeing how it goes. So, yeah, let's get it. Let's get with the story. I know I'm about to get His Majesty's power as well. So, might as well just continue until I get it and then go to sleep. If I start to snooze off, they already know because. I hope you said. I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Bloody bugs, man. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. How do you I still say it were a compliment. Ah. Clive, I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. <laughs> I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If what? there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right. If it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm. The one they call... The last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, 
tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Damn, the blight. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the Blight, oh. and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive? You had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Will I survive until the king? Covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. must listen to this. Rosman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the circle of Malleus? I would think not, few have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the crystalline orthodox. Wait. You said it waned on storm. What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. 
I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Do it, brother, together. Mid said I can ride the Enterprise. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Elbows are so bad. Only Joshua and I will be going. Killing my body slowly. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill. The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. <laughs> but... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. I'm going now. Of course. There's something wrong. Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Gotta make it all the way up. Do we make it? That's the question. It'll be a long walk to the capital if nah, we follow the train. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes. 
I did. She understood. Why? Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. Yeah. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you, will save us all? I do. <sighs> then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. This realm kind of reminds me of like Asgard in God of War Ragnarok. Always wanted to visit Ash. Just this little area. We're in the looted territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. <laughs> Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? said about warm welcomes, Gav. Oh, this place is as dead as Greek as ghost.
That was so rude. Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clyde. Peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Esther Slaver and monsters. <sighs> What's Joshua thinking? Clive, you must go on ahead without me. Why? This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do, mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. <laughs> Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, move supply, and wait for Joshua. Yeah! This game is actually beautiful, bro. I can only imagine what it's gonna look like when it releases on PC. This reeks like a marble's arsehole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us. Yeah.
seem to be able to do properly because I'm just not used to this power I'm using. Ice. Yeah. <sighs> 
What the? Say, how are you still alive? Bro, what the hell is this place, bro? It's messed up. Nice to fight them, but it's annoying because they have so much health. So no, no. <laughs> oh, this won't be easy. Are you serious, brother? Brother, 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 brother. How many? Let's 
get out of here, bro. Let's get out of here. so spongy like I need a more hurtful weapon or something a stronger weapon What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Oh no. Damn it. We're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter down! No quarter!
guy. Close. Super armor is just, it's just a problem in any game. It's just a problem. <laughs> Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. To watch Odin, <laughs> bound for stone here. Good, my master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this. What did you do? Oh. 
so broken. If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made presentable. Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <sighs> oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? Brother. We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him... ...then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition... ...we don't even know where the fucker went! How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use. Bro, what? Is Odin really that OP? That's better. Better already. No way, dude. Is he truly that busted? I thought we got them all. So did I. Turned, all right. Forgive me for asking, but what went on here? It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. And this... Uh, okay. Is just a story. Something our grandparents told us when we misbehaved. About how the heavens would grow dark before the lamp took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad. 
But where did they go? They... They all left. They went east to the tower. Oh shit, it's daytime. To Reverie. It's 4 a.m. The elders... The Damn. Of... The blacksmith. My husband. Thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. Then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. That's... You mean... It's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower. That's where we'll find the king. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be. and this vessel, Ifri. Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. But... Where is the fiend? the founder. <laughs> so that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? So that's how it's going to be, then. I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> I... Don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet.
If Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And so will I. What the hell are these? You deserve a rest. Time to fight. I really wasn't feeling Bahama. I don't know about it, like, some skills just look kind of wacky. Like, that one's cool. This one is actually pretty cool, but... Just shoot stuff. I want combos. Like, the ice cube right here. He got combos. Oh god. Not this guy. Yeah. 
This is it, boy. I've come for you, Barnabas. <laughs> Stay close. those doors.
potion.
Okay, what move is Ice Age? Barnabas, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world. This way. I thought it was the other way.
snoozy. Nah, I'm gonna pause up here though, I think. Barnabas is up here, might as well finish him up. <laughs> Alright. Got a little bit more energy. This time I can make it. You know what to do, boy. <laughs> I am awake, baby. Oh. 
Big one.
that's it? 80 points? I was expecting a lot more than that, like a thousand or something. Indoors. Indoors rain. Here, I can feel him. Oh, there he is. Yo, boys. The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Watch ya. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall, not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens, and they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And 
the Lord he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open, and so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. That's the plot. Proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering, shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? <laughs> What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> Psychotic laugh. Very well. Come then. Oh boy. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours.
as his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope, when there is none.
of your weakness. <laughs> My apologies. You are not the fool I took you for.
What? Bro, ain't no way. Bro, I have to change abilities. What the fuck? I gotta change abilities, bro. This is not gonna be it. Brian, you. What? Yeah. 
At an end. And we both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. It? After that ass whooping, I just was served. That's all I get. Some BS. I thought he fell off the cliff. Nothing. What was it, if not will, that made you strive for a new world? Strive to win your master's approval? I... You were shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. That world is worth saving, even if it means killing a god. Scared the shit out of him. This is pointless. Uh, but I almost forgot. <laughs> I promised that I would make you presentable. Did I not? Our destinies, just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield, take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No.
threw the poor man in the, in the face. Long last salvation. I'm coming home. to the divine. With or without a will, you are still but a vessel, our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. It's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There all shall end and begin again. I was gonna say, dude. We just defeated King Barnabas, man. That shit should be out. Some of your 
best man. Practically all of them. My best man! Does it look like I need one? I admit this might not be the most convenient time, but my nephew's in trouble. And I may have already promised him your help. Your nephew, the outlaw. My soldiers have better things to do than die for nothing. Then you and he are of the same mind. I fight for the opposite. He fights for a world in which he shouldn't have to live and die for nothing. And, and he fights today to give us all the chance of a better tomorrow. Be that as it may, a handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom. Mayhap they are the wrong men. Well, I'll be damned. Be on. Our numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, you do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needing Gather the them the bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. How is he still alive? I thought he was dead. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I'm ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. He's a changed man. No, that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence. Did he survive the battle at the city when he was destroying everything and everyone? Where was he? I thought he'd be dead. Power of hope remains very strong with him. Two and a half hours, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, 6 o'clock in the morning. I've not slept. At all. Clive, thank fuck. You alright? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. Than Barnabas. Dead. The king is dead. Oh, they're, they're all... <laughs> I 
They are, or so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You see if... Take it to hideaway, please. Pregnant, man. Gav, we need to talk. Talk about what, Clive? What the hell? What am I missing? Take her? I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lord. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. Joshua, get out of your chest. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Uh, he didn't consider it killing or a mercy of sorts, a way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. But that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the mother crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? We know that the mother crystals have been leading the land of Ether, And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freed that he desires, but a freed and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined, shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless... There is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. 
A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. <laughs> Bloody way, you can use the blade to attack? Bro, what? I've been waiting for a different attack. While holding square. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. Well, guys, this is where we shall depart ways. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, champs. I love you all. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Don't worry. Tomorrow we're back. Now let me check this goddamn power. <laughs> Bro, I got whooped. I'm embarrassed. I got whooped. I was using healing like, like Elden Ring and shit, bro. <clears throat> Embarrassing. See you in the next episode, man. Thanks for watching. Be good. Dogs. Hey, wait, it is the people. I'm saving that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>